man is in jail facing weapons charges as part of an ongoing crackdown on probation compliance by IMPD. CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains how that case reflects a larger effort by law enforcement. According to court records, police arrested the suspect inside this home behind me and seized a half dozen guns. The bust took place just a few days after IMPD targeted dozens of convicted felons in what was dubbed Operation Knock Knock. Searching this home on East 12th Street, along with this second home on Pershing Avenue last month, IMPD officers claim they recovered six guns seen here, as well as fentanyl and four pounds of marijuana. Court records show the suspect, Duran Johnson Nash, is now charged with unlawful possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon because the 27-year-old was on probation after being convicted of robbery in 2016. We welcome uh, an increase in compliance checks. Indy FOP President Rick Snyder believes compliance checks, like the case against Johnson Nash, ensure accountability for people on pre- and post-trial release. When you're in a city that has more people on electronic monitoring, i.e. conditional release, than any other city in the nation, you have got to make sure that we are monitoring the people who are out on electronic monitoring. In addition to Johnson Nash's case, last week IMPD announced they seized 10 guns seen in these pictures following 40 different compliance checks around the city, resulting in the arrest of nine people for 20 criminal charges as part of Operation Knock Knock. I mean, this is the result of multiple agencies working together uh, and getting these individuals off the streets. And ultimately, Indianapolis is a little safer because of it. Police confirmed the warrant checks that resulted in the illegal guns being seized targeted only high-risk suspects, most likely to reoffend. It doesn't close the revolving door. Uh, but it slows the revolving door from spinning so fast. Finally, Johnson Nash remains behind bars on a seven day hold after which he will be eligible for an $80,000 bond. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News.